Was there not a time you phoned your missus as well because you thought you were going to die? Yeah. Where yeah, was I, that? Um, I went to a place, um, it's called the Pijok in Iraq. And basically this, this outbuilding was only ran by about, um, say, 18 blokes. And um, they were, we were guards in the prison. And from 11 o'clock at night till 5 o'clock in the morning, the fucking gates of hell would open and they would come from everywhere. They'd be like monkeys. They'd be just piling up, running everything. Got to the point where one day, one night, it was overrun. And we were getting overrun from north, west, east, south, everything. They were coming from everywhere. And it got so bad, we were pissing on the barrels of the machine guns, the jimpies, because they were getting so hot. We were pissing on the barrels, trying to cool them down. We were using, um, we ran out of gun oil, so we started using cooking oil to, to fucking lube them up, stuff like that. And I remember when you're on tour, you have a sat phone to ring your paradigm phone, it's called, and you have it, um, and you get a little card with a number on it, and you get a certain amount of minutes each month, you get a new one. You just type in the number because you have eight minutes left and then you can ring your missus. And where the sniper hide was, when me and my mate were, the, the phone was just down there, and like it was red, like the bat phone. And um, we, were, we were getting, yeah, we were getting smashed. And um, I climbed down and I phoned her up and I said, I love you. She goes, yeah, no. She goes, I love you too. She goes, everything's all right. Everything's all right. And I said to her, I'll ring you in the morning. I promise you I'll ring you in the morning. She was going, you're all right. Everything's fine. She goes, what's all that noise? It's a bit of drama at the moment. I said, everything's fine. And I put the phone down. And I rang her in the morning. 